Hey guys, welcome back to my 30 week pregnancy vlog. Starting with um, this last week, I just had um, an appointment two days ago. Everything's looking really great. Again, the baby's like still really active. I can feel him growing and moving. It's really phenomenal. It's a crazy, crazy feeling, you guys. Like, it, it feels amazing. So he's doing really well. My doctor says I'm gaining weight steadily. I'm um, looking great. My bump's the perfect size. So everything as far as that, you know, has been going symptom wise. I think I just have like normal symptoms. I, it's, it's getting a little bit harder to like walk or bend over or, you know, I feel a little out of breath, you know, just like the normal pregnancy stuff, but nothing really serious. Like I don't have back aches. Um, some of you asked about stretch marks. I haven't gotten any stretch marks yet. I know some people say that they didn't get it until like the very last few weeks so maybe that will happen so there's that and the only other symptoms like that I'm noticing is like my hair is really oily like I don't even I haven't even been washing or putting conditioner in my hair I've just been shampooing it and it still always feels oily and looks oily I don't know why that is um, my face is is a little dry and patchy it's kind of like sketchy a little bit my skin is still kind of like oily and then dry and then oily and then dry my vision's a little strange sometimes. Like I notice I don't have as sharp a vision like seeing far. My eyelashes are smaller than they used to be or at least they appear smaller to me. Probably because I can't use lash serum but that's something. Um, but besides that like I really can't complain. Those are just like you know like nitpicky things like you can just kind of tell but I wouldn't complain. I mean I would say so far I've really enjoyed being pregnant and I'm feeling great and you know, 10 weeks hopefully will go by really quick and uh, I'll be able to meet my son. So we have chosen a name um, or we've pretty much come to a name conclusion. We're calling, you know, we're calling him by his name now and things like that. I probably won't be sharing that until mid-December when I do my nursery tour um, just because I just want to give it time just so that in case we do change our mind, which I don't think we will, but just to kind of, now that we've kind of settled on a name, we kind of want to call him the name and write it out a little bit and just kind of like really settle in. It's just a big decision naming your child. So especially your first one you've never named, you never named anything before. I mean, I when I had animals, I used to name them puppy and kitty and like turtle and things like that. So I'm very indecisive when it comes to naming animals. And this is an even bigger decision naming a kid. So uh, we will announce it probably mid-December. I wanted to talk to you today about breast pumps, um, nursing bras, and a little bit about cloth diapers. So um, I, I'm gonna be reviewing these things once I've had a chance to use them, but right now I'm kinda just like hauling them for you, showing you what I have. I registered for the um, Medela breast pump, or Medela Medela breast pump, and then I found out that my insurance covers a breast pump. So initially I thought that they were gonna cover the Medela, um, but, it turns out that they don't. They only cover the purely yours. The Medela was like a $200 upgrade. So what I figured I would do is since my insurance covers it, I didn't have to pay anything for this. I figured I would get this one and if I don't like it, I would just buy the Medela breast pump. But I read mixed reviews on this one. This one's supposed to be, you know, good. A lot of people said it was really good. Some people said they, they didn't like it. Um, it's a double electric um, pump. And um, the cool thing about this one is you don't have to clean out the tubing and you don't have to clean, like you only have to clean the bottle and any area that touches the milk. The tubing does not touch the milk. So you don't have to clean it, which the Medela one you do, which is a little harder, I have heard from some moms. Um, so I will do a review on this once I've tried it. And then if I don't like it and I happen to got, buy the Medela one, then I will do a review on that one also. It's pretty small and compact. It has like the suction, the speed, and I registered for all the additional attachments like just so that you can store the milk and carry it with you if he's going to be in the nursery at church or he's, you know, I'm going to be with him most of the time because I'm um, staying at home. But um, if he ever has to be somewhere at my mom's house or whatever, I can pump and have them feed him my uh, breast milk. So this is the one that I ended up getting. I would recommend if you are pregnant or nursing and you are interested in getting a pump, 
you may not have the same insurance as me. Some insurances do cover the Medela pump. Um, some cover this one. It just kind of depends. So you want to call your insurance company and ask. I called and asked. They they were very helpful with me. I had to get a prescription from my doctor. He prescribed me a breast pump, I think, for, I don't even know how he, he just prescribed for me. And then the next day I got it. So totally did not have to pay a dime for it. This is like worth, I think, 150 bucks or around something like that. Um, but it's helpful that I didn't have to pay for it so I can give it a try. If it doesn't work, I can always go buy a pump, but it's nice to kind of have one to try. So I wanted to show you that. The next thing I wanted to talk about is nursing bras. And actually, I don't know where one of them went. I had a Bravado nursing bra that just kind of disappeared. So kind of annoyed with that. I have no, I've looked everywhere in the house and I can't find it. Um, hopefully I will find it. I got this one at, this is the basics. I believe I just got this one at Target. And this is a nursing bra, it like unsnaps so this part comes down and you can nurse. So these are basic, I mean these kind of bras in general are kind of ugly. Um, they're not very cute, but you do need nursing bras. So I got this one at Target for about 20 bucks. I got the Bravado one, it's somewhere around this house. It is like a sleeping bra, so you can just like pull it down and breastfeed. Um, I also got this, this came with the pump. My insurance also covered this. And this you wear like here and then you stick the pump in here so that you can just like have the pump on you and it's like wah, 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 while you're like watching TV. Super sexy guys, but uh, my friend who has a baby said these are a must have because you don't want to sit there having to hold the pump. You definitely want one of these kind of um, hands-free pumping bras. So that was nice that that came with it. My all-time favorite bra that I have found so far, I found on a website called Pump Station. I was looking into classes. Byron and I are going to be taking um, like five different classes. Um, I'm taking the breastfeeding one. We're taking the infant care, um, infant CPR, or infant and toddler CPR class and birthing class. We're taking like a ton of different classes. And on the website where I was choosing the classes that I want to take, they also had bras and I found this company called the Dairy Fairy and I went and followed them on Twitter and I actually got a chance to kind of talk with the owner. She's a mom. She gave me a coupon code for you guys and we're going to be doing a giveaway which was really sweet of her um, because I pinned this bra because this is the nicest one that I have found thus far. Um, not only is it really cute, so I have the pink one, I want to get the black one too but um, it's like lacy, it looks really good on, it gives like really nice cleavage, but again, it's got that same, you could snap it open and it's a nursing bra. But then what's really cool is let's say you have it on, you can pull this, this side out like this. It's like the Go Go Gadget bra and it becomes a pumping bra so you can open this and stick the pumps in here and it is a hands-free pumping and nursing bra let me just say that these things if you are not pregnant or nursing at the moment probably sound really crazy but you start realizing that you're gonna need stuff like this because it's just convenient <laughs> and uh, it's nice to not have to switch from your nursing bra to a hands-free pumping bra. You just already have so much going on at the beginning from what I've heard when you first have your baby that convenience is easy. So these are the nicest ones that I have found. I have shopped online for hours and hours and hours and the Dairy Fairy has the nicest bras. They are a little bit of an investment, but again, we're gonna do a coupon code below. So if you guys are looking into buy one, you can get a discount on um, the coupon codes bun in the oven. I'll put it below. And then also I'm gonna be giving away one of these. So I'll put the rules below on how to win this. This is amazing. I'm so happy that I like discovered it because I mean, obviously I haven't had a chance to like use it myself, but I have tried it on. I've fit the pump inside and it does fit. You just kind of like have it on and you like open. You have like the pump there. Actually, this is the sexiest nursing slash hands-free pumping bra that I have seen. It's really hot. It gives you like really nice cleavage. It's got really pretty lacing and the black one's really pretty too. So I'm going to get that one um, probably by the end of the month before he gets here. 
Um, I have a few other bras. I have just like sports bras. And then I'm wearing a lacy one from Daily Look. This one right here. It's, it does not have wire. It's more like a, a lacy sports bra. So I've grown like two cup sizes. So I've already started wearing the nursing bras because I kind of need them. I need the support. But um, yeah, so those are the bras that I have at the moment. The Bravado, Target, the Dairy Fairy, and then just like the occasional um, sports bras or wire-free lace bras. All right, so really quickly I'm gonna talk about cloth diapers because I don't wanna spend all day blabbing your ear off, but um, I just placed my first order for cloth diapers from Just Simply Baby. I actually won a contest that they were doing, so I got a coupon, or I got $50 off, and I got 11 diapers. They say that you need 20 if you're going to um, cloth diaper exclusively, which I'm not sure if I'm going to. I have an honest, um, I just bought a set of Honest Diapers at Whole Foods the other day, so I already have a case or a pack of Honest Diapers ready to go, but I also have them coming in the mail. I haven't decided if I am a full-on cloth diaper lady yet, because I haven't tried it, but I did want to try it. So winning the giveaway was, was nice, because I can try them. But I also registered for a few others, Bum Genius, and um, there's a few other brands that I registered for that I looked into after reading reviews, watching reviews, but these were the first ones I got and I wanted to show you. Cloth diapering, you know, is, is not for everyone, but it's basically a cloth diaper. It comes with an insert, like that goes in here. This is a pocket. This is what they call a pocket diaper. And uh, it was really cute. Byron was helping me stuff the diapers last night after I washed them with the Honest detergent. And then I don't even think these are going to be small enough for him to be honest. These are probably um, these are probably too big. But I did do. You can snap them to fit. You might actually be able to snap them even more than I did. Make them even smaller. And yeah, they're basically just snap snap diapers. And the way that you clean the poo, it's kind of gross, but you have to get a sprayer, or it's ideal to get a sprayer, and then it connects to the toilet, and you spray. I bought liners so that the liners are flushable, so you can flush the poop down the toilet. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you, I got 11 of them, but these are just a few of the cute ones. This is like, this says Rockstar, this is the Army, and then this is like little trucks. Um, so yeah, the, the reason a lot of people were asking like, and I had the same questions, all the same questions when it came to cloth diapers, which is like, why, why would I do that? Um, it's cheaper. You can save a few thousand dollars a year. Um, you know, Byron and I don't necessarily need to, to cloth diaper for financial reasons, but at the same time, if I'm home and I can do it and it's not that big of a deal, why not? You can save a few thousand dollars. Um, it's supposed to be, you know, a little less irritating to their skin in a lot of ways, uh, better for the environment because you're not throwing away as many diapers. Um, and they're cute, you know, they've got like cute little designs and a lot of people really like cloth diapering. So I'm going to give it a try. Sure. Why not? Right? So, <laughs> um, I did want to show you those. I'm going to do a full review once I get all the cloth diapers. I've had a chance to try them, let you know what my honest thoughts are about them. I don't know, it's not the most glamorous thing. We'll see if I actually enjoy doing this um, and if I wanna continue doing it. Otherwise, I'll just continue using the disposable Honest diapers, but I'm always one to kinda of like give it a try. If I hear if I hear it's something worth trying, um, I'm always one to try it out, see how I like it. I'm not sold on any particular thing, but I definitely wanna try it out. So that completes my 30-week pregnancy vlog. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will see you in the next one.